Welcome back to my van build. The plan of action for this vlog is to get the, the other bench seat made the opposite side to the bath, which is gonna house the toilet as well as a load of storage space. So I'm gonna get the framework built and I'm gonna get the MDF fronts made and the plywood tops made at the same time. So gonna get that done. I'm not gonna paint it or prep it yet. That'll come later on when I've got nothing else to do because you know me, I, I try to avoid painting where I can. Um, while I'm messing around with MDF, I'm also going to get the front fascia panel made for the bath, the, the bath, the bath, the kitchen units that I made in the last vlog. I'm going to do it much the same as the high level cupboard fascias that I made. So the 9mm MDF is basically cut to the shape of the, the framework, just to tidy it up really. Um, I'll obviously leave gaps for the drawers and the cupboard doors. That's the, the main aim of this vlog. Now, after uploading the last vlog, I got a load of comments about the kitchen. Most of it, well, they're all brilliant, really good comments. Most of them about the layout and how much it, they thought it looked better and worked so much better, which is great. But I also had a load of comments about the fridge, about the height of the fridge. I can understand why people were saying it about bringing the fridge up because it's obviously it's a really low fridge. And I think I probably will get sick of bending right down and getting low down just to get into the top of it. So I can completely understand why the comments have been raised and I probably will regret it if I don't raise it up. But I've thought about this so much since reading those comments and I just don't think it'll look right. I know it's probably the most practical thing to do, but at the minute, I think it works quite well. The units being staggered and the, the drawers being staggered. I think it looks quite good. If I raise the fridge up like halfway, I've got two little fire little drawers. If I raise the fridge up full height, it can only come as far as this, and then it sits down here, so everything looks all odd. So, I don't know, I don't think I'd be happy with that. So, I'm tempted to compromise and just leave it as it is. I probably will regret it, but I just think it'll look better. The only thing I will do is, I think it was Paul that mentioned this in the comments, is swap, swap the door over so it hinges the other way, which kind of makes sense, because That'll be a pain in the ass once the once the uh, the bench seat is there to open the door. There'll be a little gap, so I will flip that over the other way. Yeah, I'm also going to get this MDF end made and stagger it and get the shoe rack or whatever whatever you want to call it made. So try and get a lot of this tidied up. Let's rock and roll. seating area built. I'll take you through my logic and uh, how I think this will all work. This is it all boxed in. Obviously I need to tidy it all up and get it tarted up later on with paint and cushions and hinges and all sorts of stuff. But we'll go through it as it is for now. What is the bath is also now a nice big comfy chair, which I was a little bit worried to begin with that it might be a little bit big. But actually I really like the size of it because you can sit on there like a big comfy chair and sort of gaze out the van door so that works really well eventually i will do a nice hole in this and put some hinges at the back and actually needs to be trimmed down a little bit smaller because it's a bit tight so it's a nice big chair and it's also the bath so there yeah, that's cool um we'll move around to this thing which is actually a step to allow you to get up onto the, the bed but it's like a little storage space as well which i think works really well next we have the other bench seat this side of it is obviously storage area again i'll put some hinges at the back drill a hole in the front of it just to get your finger in and lift it up 
So that's really good. This little thing though is my favorite. The other half is the toilet. I'm actually probably gonna hinge this on this edge here because of the recess here and it will actually lift up like that which reveals the toilet and then the front the front so i fixed the bottom half of it and the, the top half will eventually sort of will eventually sort of fold down like that yeah and then you can uh, do your stuff now with the toilet of uh, six mil ply all around the outside and I've located it in position so I can lift it out and look at that nice square cut out on the floor the exact shape of the toilet so it's not going to rattle around the van so it's absolutely solid in there it's not going to move at all so that's it good job so I've got a load of paint in the zoo tie all this up going to get some cushions made but yeah, looks good. Looks really good. Next job is tomorrow being another day. We'll get this fascia board made for the kitchen and we'll get the cupboard made on the end. Yeah, so it's like the end of Thursday now. So it's uh, Friday tomorrow and we'll plow on with the rest of it. It's the following day. Let's get straight into it, shall we? Time lapse of the front fascia being made. I think I can say I've now completed the bulk of the carpentry work in the van. So I've done all the fascia, done all the seating area, and all that leaves us to do now is do all the tidy up bits, the hinges, the brackets, get the covered doors on, which obviously you already made, get the drawers made. So I'll run you through how today's gone. So the kitchen's all faced up. I think it looks pucker. <laughs> that one was for you, Neil. Um, I've done it much the same as the high level cupboards with the, as I said, I said 9mm before, but it's actually 6mm MDF. Uh, here we go, look. So I've just made a front panel for the whole kitchen area. That's good. And I've also added a little skirting piece on. I didn't film this, so I got carried away again. And that actually follows it all the way around. There's a 30mm skirting which I made on the kitchen area, and then I put a 50mm skirting. Obviously, I'll fill all these holes, paint over them in the, uh, the seating area. So that looks good. Um, I also made this end sort of cupboard, which I'm thinking will be a shoe rack. I'll put some like uh, bungees on here to stop anything falling out. And you can see in there, there's some holes. That's for the vent for the uh, for the fridge and things here on camera. But it's like a bit of 22 mil MDF on the end, just fixing there's some battens in there, which I fixed it to. And uh, yeah, like 45 there. So it just doesn't get in the way. The f everything fits in there plush now the oven fits in there nice the i'll put an extra little space at the back of the fridge so that now sits perfectly i will eventually swap the door over if i can get the bloody thing open oh it's locked in it massive right yeah so that obviously wants to be hinged the other way but it's done so it's all come together really quite well love it just need to get a piece of work to now get a live edge bit of wood for the worktop and uh we'll be looking good along with my fancy panty seating area oh yeah so that concludes the vlog 
it's just been more furniture building, but at least we've got that out of the way, got it finished. I've got a weekend of painting ahead of me. Um, I won't film any of that because everyone's sick of painting, but it'd be good to get it all prepped and get the final coats on the cupboards. The next vlog will hopefully be the start of the sort of electrical work of the van. Um, I spent the last couple of days like drawing up my wiring diagram. I'll get that on Instagram in the next couple of days. So check that out on BJ and Van Instagram uh, page. So yeah, I'll get all that ordered, get that in next week, and then hopefully sort of start going through it. I'm gonna go through the electrics in quite some detail. So there might be a couple of vlogs just explaining the electrics because I know on a lot of the chats uh, you know, that I'm involved in, people are always confused what to do with electrics. And I'd like to think that's probably one of the things that I know a bit more about. So I'll, uh, I'm gonna go into heavy detail on the electrical side of the van, but I am doing it a little bit differently to a few other van builders, but each their own, so it's good. So yeah, thanks again for watching another vlog. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already to keep up with my van progress. Leave a comment below and uh, let me know what you think. Cool. See you in the next one.